Hey everybody, welcome back to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and here on my YouTube channel, and this time out, we're gonna take a look at this new channel strip plugin that popped up in my Instagram feed right towards the end of 2023. And I looked at this thing, I've never heard of the company. I saw this killer looking GUI and I said, I gotta get myself a hold of this. This is the Voost EQ, I think it's called, V-O-O-S-T EQ. This is the Model N. This is an emulation of 500 series, kind of a style emula emulation of some Neve consoles, preamps, EQs, compressors, and a master section. So I've not played with this really at all. I installed it, I think at the time, it cost me 20 bucks. It was on sale. I think the regular price is like 50 bucks or something. I don't know. I'll link it in the description box. I have no affiliation with them. I paid for this. I just, you know, I saw it on my Instagram feed and I wanted to check it out. I've seen there's been a couple of videos on it. So we're just going to take a quick listen to this today and you could go demo it for yourself. Before we get started, make sure you like, share, subscribe, go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. If it's your first time here, and get that free mixing course that's right on the homepage. There's a big orange button. Click on it, download it today, no strings attached. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll give you another like something else for free. Okay, here we go. So let's walk through this. Let's walk through this bad boy. Okay, Voost EQ Model N Neve compressor. We have input meters here on the left hand side. We have a preamp section with this is just, I mean, look at this thing. I mean, I'm a sucker for this stuff. You show me a cool looking channel strip, man, and I'm buying it. I don't even care if it sounds good or not. <laughs> so we're gonna do it. We have a preamp here, which it could be mine. It's on a mono track, so there's only a mono, it's only one XLR cable being plugged in. But if it was a stereo track, I would assume left and right would be plugged in. Now, what looks to be pretty cool about this too is we have um, a couple of different models. Here's the 84, the 31. And then a model, a modded one, which the way I understand their manual, and again, I, I've looked at this for five minutes in their manual. I believe this is more classic or more vintage and classic and maybe more, more modern twist. So you got three flavors of preamp here, which is cool. Looks like the old 1073 here, or maybe 1084, I don't know. We have a preamp knob, we can go mic or line. Oh, when you change that, oh yeah, it changes that to a quarter inch cable, look at that. And the company gets an A for effort for making the thing look good. In the center, we have a compressor. We have two different styles of compressor, a little bit more. So we'll, we'll fly through those. We got a slam button, which is probably like a parallel compression thing. It looks like you could turn off the sections with these little toggle switches down here, pretty badass. Then we got an EQ. Again, we got three styles of EQ. We got the 84, the 31, and then probably their own creation, a modded version of it. Um, which is kind of cool. Then on the master section here, we have oversampling we could turn on and off. We have routing pre-EQ, which means, what does that mean? That probably means you can put the EQ pre, you could probably, can you just drag it? No, I think routing pre-EQ means EQ is gonna go before the compressor. Probably should have read the manual, but hey, we're doing this on the fly here. Then we have this analog flavor, which looks kind of cool. You click this and we have a bunch of different emulations. We can have no analog saturation, we can have the M Air, we can have a Carnhill Transformer, kind of a couple of different consoles, oops, and then a fake one. We'll, we'll cycle through that and listen to that. Then we got something that's really cool. Again, I've never seen a company do this. We have the condition, and right now it's on old, and if we go to new, look at the GUI, how the GUI changes. I know th this is corny, and then you go over to aged, and it looks aged. Man, I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. It's kind of cool. Does it change the sound at all? I don't know, probably not, but who cares? It looks cool. <laughs> Master gain, power switch, output meter. We got some presets, cool. All right, we can save some presets. So I got this strapped across a whole track. Drums, bass, acoustic, electric, guitars, piano. Let's let's dial something in quick. Let, let's just do this. Let, let's, let's solo this up. There's a kick, what is this? Kick in, let's, I'll turn this up just so you can hear it better. Let's dial this in quick. Let's just see if we can make something sound halfway decent. Let's stay on the 1084. So if you want kind of that mic level, you get the little red light here where it starts to break up. Okay, okay, let's go over to our compressor here. 
Let's do like a two to one because we're doing kick drums here, right? Recovery, fast recovery. Oh, we got a wet dry knob, cool. Not sure what the slam does. Oh, let's see. So you can see they react a little differently, even though all the settings are in the same spot. Okay, I can hear a little bit more compression there. Cool, let's stick on the I don't want to take away too much of the transient. Let's go to an EQ. That works. We don't have a gate on this thing, which is fine. Uh, let's see, let's go to low frequencies, go 60 Hertz to shelf. Nice. They got some 350. Nice. I like that the settings stay the same so you can switch between the EQs. You can get a little bit different flavor. Okay, let's let's go to this. Uh... So routing pre-EQ. Does that mean the saturation is before the EQ? I don't know, we'll leave that off for now. Let's let's listen, let's try this. Ooh. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem to change the sound. At least I don't think it does. We're only on a kick drum here. Let's bypass it. So we went from that to that. It, I mean, it's got that analogy thing. Let's go to kick out. Let's just get the low end on this thing. Probably going to give us a little more gain here. All right. We're not even going to compress that. This is just going to be the low end. Put a little bit of a transformer on there. I'm going to take out some of that. Where is it that uh, 350? Just the low end. Let's blend it with the other one. Nice thick kick drums. Snare top. Let's get some crunch. Let's go to this next one here. some hair on it. Why not? Okay, let's go to the 32 EQ here. Compressor, excuse me. And okay, we'll do a two to one. We'll do an auto release, why not? 100% wet. Too much. CQ, put the oversampling on. Where is our 5K? I'm 
Well, that sounds good. A little 12. Nice. A little 110. Nice. That sounds pretty good, man. Let's go to this. Uh, oh, let's go to this analog thing. That just turns up the gain. So I can see that the that the this the saturation thing it's very subtle which is cool it's not overhyped it's okay it's okay I mean overall I mean it just sounds nothing doesn't really sound like it does all that much. Again, I'd have to read the manual and mess around with it. I, I got to understand what this pre EQ thing is here. L let me, let me see what this is. I got the manual up here. I don't want to make this video an hour long, but you know how we do it here at uncle Dave's, you know, if you're looking for a four minute video, cause you don't have patience to learn anything, then this is the wrong channel for you. <laughs> I just get on here and I just rock and roll, man. And we just do it all together live. And if you like it, you okay, here, what it is number two. Swaps the order of the compressor and EQ. Okay, so when it's off, it goes compressor, then EQ. On goes EQ, then compressor. Okay. What's the condition? Adjust the actual equipment to new condition at heavily used units. It simulates free... Oh, it simulates the frequency response, total harmonic distortion, and response to the input signals. It also is greatly affected by the distortion preamp and texture. The GUI plugin is also modified. So that actually does something, supposedly. Okay. So all this does is it'll route the EQ before, which usually I want to put the EQ before. This thing actually does something supposedly. Got way too much compression. How did I end up with that much compression? Oh, because I put the EQ before the compressor. That's why. Okay, so that's what that does. I do hear a little bit in the ring of the roundness when it's aged, the, the snare, the transient's a little rounder. I mean, it's very subtle, but it does have some effect on the sounds. Okay, we're gonna go to snare bottom. Gonna hit a little more trim here. Let me move this over. So you guys can hear the difference. Let's go to this. Oh, we'll stick on this on the snare. Okay, we're gonna go to this one, all right? And we'll do auto release. We're gonna put the EQ before, oversampling on, two to one. EQ, let's get to that 5K. Get a little bit of snap, put it there. Put it on Carnell Transformer. Rock and roll, man. So let's uh, put this on. Hats. 
Hats can be simple. Keep that on here. Well, 12, 12K. Okay, let's skip the toms because we want to keep this video kind of short. Toms only get hit a couple of times. Let's do the overheads. Let's do just the overheads here. If you want me to see, like, do a full mix with just this channel strip, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'll do that at one point. Maybe I'll go to the modded one for the overheads just to see what the difference is. Nope, too much. Cool. Add a little bit of 110. Put the console on. Yeah, definitely, I mean. Rooms. Go to the modded one again. Compressor, we'll compress these a little bit. Take out the loads. A little bit of that kick. Here, a little 16K. Okay, we're just whipping this thing together quick, right? Let's go to the transformer. Right on, man. Okay, so what do we got for drums? If I just take these on and off, here we go. Here's where we, here's with it. Sounds great, bass. Back to the old style, four to one. If you really want to overdrive it, hit the slam. And we'll just do the acoustic guitar and we'll get out of here. We'll put on the master bus and we'll get out of here. So you guys don't have to sit through a ton of the video here. So let's let's put a let's get the acoustic up. Let's see what we can just do in an acoustic. Let's see. Stick this online. A little more modern.
we'll take a look. We'll take a look at the oversampling. We'll look at the uh, the CPU usage as we as I finish this up. Let's go on this EQ. Nice. Cool. In the mix. Okay, here's a master bus. Let's just see what happens on the master bus here. I mean, not bad. Let's shut them all on and off. Here we go. Okay, so it sounds great. It's still, it's got the neat thing. It does. Um, I'm running how many instances here? Nine, 15, 16 instances, 9% all on the high oversampling. So it doesn't take up. I'm using a Mac Studio, uh, the entry level one. So it's, you know, it's a powerful machine, but it doesn't take up any CPU at all. But it has the Neve thing. I mean, it's, it does. It sounds like a Neve. In the pianos where I can hear the difference of this saturation, it was a little hard to hear it on individual tracks, but on the master bus here, you can hear a little bit. Again, it's subtle. And honestly, it ought to be subtle because if it was super obvious and super hyped, it would just, some plug-in companies do that and it's not realistic. Even in the analog world, in the hardware world, you know, which I run as well with a real console, you know, saturation should be subtle. It should not be this, oh my God, listen to that. It, it just adds a little bit of richness. And these four or five or these five different things do shift it a little bit 
EQ wise. So the fake's a little brighter than the consoles. kind of like the fake. <laughs> I think it sounds pretty good. It's a cool plugin. I mean, I think I pay 20 bucks for this on sale. I want to say this plugin regular price, I think is 50 bucks for 50 bucks. If you want an EVQ, that's cool and looks cool. This is an EV channel. So just pretty cool. Now I know people say, how does it compare to the plugin Alliance? How does it compare to this? How does it compare to that? They're all going to sound similar. This has got a really cool vibe to it and it's cheap and it sounds good. And again, we just kind of played with it a little bit. If you want me to do a full mix with this and really kind of get into this a little bit more down and dirty, leave a bunch of comments below. If you let me know in the comments below and there's enough of you that'll do it, I'll throw up a full mix. We'll have more instrumentation, vocals and stuff, and we can maybe do a full mix here on YouTube. Let me know in the comments below. It's pretty cool. I mean, I, I checked this out. I like this. I mean, I, I paid for it. It's cool. I might use this over at my mixingmadeeasy.net uh, mem mixing membership site, maybe do a month's content with that. So anyway, that's our look at the uh, Voost EQ Model N Neve channel strip. Very cool. Go check it out. I'll link it in the description box below. I'm not affiliated with them. So if you want to check it out, that's great. So now thanks again for sticking around to the end of the video. As I said at the beginning, I want to give you something else for sticking around. So again, if this is your first time here, go to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. There is a free, yes, free, 100% free, worth a hundred bucks right on the homepage as a mixing course. You click that orange button, it'll download that course for you. I um, mean, then you'll be part of the HR, ME, family. And if you take that course and you really dig my style of teaching and you want to learn more from good old uncle Dave, and you want to take one of my full on mixing courses or recording courses or EQ courses or compression courses or all the different stuff that I have on my online school, any one of those courses, I want to give you 25% discount coupon code. Just use the coupon code YouTube 25. That will take 25% off any training course on the website. So until the next video, I've been Dave with home recording made easy.com. Thank you so very much for watching me, everybody. I'll see you guys in the next video.